Hello! We've just got back from Magnificent Seven, which was... A western. A western? <laughs> it, was, yeah, it, was, it, was, it was pretty good, it was pretty good. Yeah, uh, you've, have you seen the original? Uh, a long, long, long time ago. I've not seen the original, so... Yeah. I, I'm just looking at this for a standalone movie. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I should have watched it, I should have watched it again so I could draw comparisons. <laughs> but, um, it, it, yeah, it was, it was a fun film. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't spectacular. No, no. It uh, was. It was. It had good aspects. It did what it wanted to do. Just followed the story and everything, and didn't really do anything wrong. But yeah, yeah, it was. The the, the story the story was yeah. Ba you know, basic cliche thing anyway. Oh yeah, there are many many cliche in this. Many so many cliche, cliche yeah. absolute cliche to the point that the cliches are just there because they need to have cliches mm. in it. Um, so. Yeah, it's just they have. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about it in the spoiler section, but like the you know you know the ones that I'm going to talk about. Most likely, yeah, there's, yeah. there's loads that are just laughable. True. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. The basic story of it is a uh, town of peaceful farmers is being taken out by uh, a big mining company headed by. Uh, okay, this is one to get the cast list up. So I can never remember what was his name. Bartholomew Bogue. Bogue. Bart Bogue. Uh, Bart yeah, Bogue, yeah. He wants the mine for gold, and I don't get why he has to shoot the village the way, because the mine seemed to be quite a long distance away. It, it, it did. It was a I mean, could, great distance. It, it was within, like, eye range, so you could, like, see it from the village, but or town, as it's probably yeah, called. But, yeah. The whole idea of getting rid of them, I'm not too sure, other than... It was just, I think it was just so that it, it could be just used for miners and have more miners right, there to yeah. get more gold and then dividing the, paying them for taking gold from the land, I don't know. But yeah, he, he, was, he was casted well, I, like, I liked him. I yeah, liked he, um, he wasn't in it that much but when he was in, yeah. uh, he played it he played it very well guy. as the, uh, the terrible, terrible westerner. The, the, yeah, the, the, the villain. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, very, That's the one. Yeah, the villain. <laughs> Yeah, the main villain. But um, yeah, it was good. All the other castings were, were pretty, pretty good. You know, Denzel Washington um, as Sam. What's his name? Sam. Sam. Which ba, one? Ba, ba, ba. Chrism. Sam Chrism. Yeah, Sam Chrism, wasn't it? Denzel Washington's character. Oh, uh, Sam Chrism. Yes, yeah, yeah. Denzel Washington's character. Uh, Chris Pratt's. Uh, Something Faraday. Josh. Yeah, Josh Harriday. Um, yeah, it's an F, isn't it? Not a H. Faraday. Yeah, Faraday. Faraday, sorry. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Faraday. Sorry, Faraday. <laughs> but yeah, it, like the casting was good. They all they melded together. It's it just like the uh, yeah, it's in the misfits. The standard thing of you get a group of odd but uniquely skilled characters together uh, to do something. Where they just all happy lot happy to go along with the leader in a suicidal mission or to get to get money. To yeah, get, to get paid. Did, did he ever get that uh, bag of coins? I don't know. I do not know. <laughs> I thought of mining know. off whether they had a bag of coins or not. I don't know. But I don't know. But it was uh, the pace. I think I think the pacing of the film was a little bit off. But the pace. I felt well, it had the the initial conflict uh, setting it up. Okay, this is the bad guy. He's trying to do this. Then it introduced the first hero. Mm -hmm. um, getting him to help. And then it was just, the next part of it was just seeing all the characters. Then it was setting up for the defend, for the fight, and then the fight. Yeah, it's just, I think, I think the, some of the bits in the middle were too much of a lull. Like, you just thought, come on. Yeah. Get to I, the next stage already. Cause you I thought, think oh, that was a little bit no. too long in the building of the fence for the town. Yeah. Admittedly, they had some good moments in it. There were some funny moments, but... Yeah, so when, when all the um, like all the group just chatting, chilling. We, I I, I really do enjoy those those scenes in the film where you mm -hmm. get all the different characters just having a nice little. Yeah, like the, the way they bounce off. Yeah, each other. yeah, that's always good. That's always a good thing to have. It's just I just felt like the, the pacing sometimes suffered because it's over two hours. This film. Yeah, the, the, and they, they could have cut out. They could have cut out a hell of a lot. Yeah. To make it a short film, like uh, you could probably the whole story could have been done in about an hour and a half. Yeah, the problem is every time you get a new character, you have to then introduce why the character is going to be um, useful to the team. Yeah, yeah. In order for them to 
defeat um, Bogue's men. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, I, okay, right, we'll talk about, talk about the action, action wise, it was, it was pretty, pretty good. Good action, yeah. So good action in it. Um, you know, gunslinger fights, everyone was a good gunslinger. They're like the most highly accurate people in the world, I think. Yeah, the guys shoot. and everyone has stormtroopers. Yeah, I can. I mean, you can understand from um, the, the village that you throw the farmers who don't shoot or anything. So you can understand why they'd be terrible shots. But then when you got the um, like the army, what were they called? The black something. The, they were like a they were like a mercenary, mercenary of some kind, weren't they? Black. Yeah, it's not black something. Yeah, um, and their aim, in all fairness, terrible. Wait, I, know. I know they do it and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, that's the that's why the cliches are there as yeah. well. Like, well, when you've got like five people chasing one guy and they can't hit him, that he just bang, bang, bang all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, granted, I mean, <laughs> the they do get wounded, but yeah, but it, I think I think some of it was a bit too. You know, yeah. we're just looking at it thinking, yeah, he's not getting shot. No, look, the bullets are bouncing around him. It's you can just see the main character all of uh, just yeah, yeah, around. They can't get hit by these bullets. Yeah. Um, but the action, the action was good. The the pacing of that, when it actually got to the point, it was yeah. on on point. Um, quite pretty. I want to say gory, but wasn't was, really a lot of blood splatter. It wasn't any blood. blood. It was just there was blood, but there wasn't like. <laughs> yeah, it didn't have a... Sprays of blood, it was just sort of... No, pretty tame in that, I think that's why it's a 12A. Mm. I Too think... far, I think... In no fact, if it was bullets, you probably wouldn't have that much spray of blood. No, 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 they're like literally solid pieces of metal, just probably... Yeah. Yeah, passing through people most of the time. But, I would, would you say... I mean, what work you probably get is like an axe in the back, or... Yeah, an axe in the back or something. Yeah, I think that's why the worst you actually get. But would you say this stacks up with, you know, like, other westerns that have come out recently. I actually haven't seen many westerns. Westerns not a genre that I watch with yeah. often. No, I do, I do enjoy them. I do enjoy them when, they, when they're here. Like, yeah. Hateful Eight, I enjoyed that kind of vibe and that, well, that you, era. You can't really compare these two films. No, no they're completely so, different. I mean, they're set in like, the same era, sort of, but... To... Yeah, it... Yeah, completely different. Obviously, completely different films, and uh, can't really compare the two. But it, it, in all fairness, um, no. One point where they, you, you just see them riding in yeah. the um, just gathering the crew. You see them riding on horses, and I just went, I should really play some Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, I was thinking <laughs> that. I was thinking, when's Red Dead Two coming? I, was like, I really should go back and play because that's a great game. And yeah, Red Dead. Yeah, the, it, it the, didn't bring that for me. So just the gun skills and stuff, and the shooting, and on horseback shooting. Yeah, it was really cool, but I mean. Oh yeah, we got a uh, couple of bits here now with some nice horse riding skills. Yeah, and some nice, nice shots as well. Yeah, like, there was there was quite a few like um, scenes underneath where it was like the horses jumping over the top, like. Mm. But like went in slow motion. It was weird. They, they, they look it looked CGI, like painfully CGI when it happened. Yeah. But it was quite cool. Some quite cool shots. Um, I mean, the horse choreo, they like the choreography on the horses is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've let them run free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you film it, you just run around a bit. Yeah. Some of you fall over, you try not to run into a horse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The one. I, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure no horses were killed. No, no, horses you, got killed. No, but I. I um, no, no. No, there was dynamite in this. Some I know, horses died. I know, but it looked like when the dynamite went off, they just sort of fell over and then got back up. And like when they were shooting, they shot the guy yeah, with the horses. Because, the horse would like fall over, the guy would stay dead. Cause the, the horse would get he'd up. He'd been like right next to a bloody TNT explosion, and the horse would yeah, <laughs> no, go away. I just got that, I play dead. I got that impression that it was one of those things like we can't show horses being killed. So all the horses survive. Well, not, none of them, you didn't see a horse get shot. You never saw a shot, horse get shot, you never saw a horse lie on the ground you, dead. You just saw, I think there were horse corpses in there. I, I never saw a horse corpse. Did you not? No. I'm sure I did. I'm pretty sure that no horses are shown to be killed in that film. I'm not too sure on that, actually. It, you, you, the Lord of Riders just like, got shot off and they just fell over. Um, even one time, uh, the big guy, the person who plays King Ping, he kind of like, ran oh, into oh, someone. John, John, uh, John Horn. Yeah, Jack, Jack Horn. Horn. Jack Horn. He basically just ran into a guy, he got him straight off the horse. 
fucking standing <laughs> into him. <laughs> no, you can get up and move the fuck off. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no one's yeah, no yeah, one maybe actually. actually. But yeah, I was glad there was no romance plots in it. They were hinting at it slightly. Yeah, here but, and there, I'm, but I'm so they glad never, they never did they it. They never went through with it, which with uh, what's the name? Emma Cullen. Yeah. Is it Emma Cullen and uh, Faraday. Faraday? Faraday. Faraday. Sorry. But yeah, they were sort of hinting at it, like, are they gonna go through with it? Is there a point? I'm glad. It, yeah, they didn't. It's do great it. when they mm. don't have stupid romance plots. They don't need to have it. It does nothing to the story. It, w- it really wouldn't do anything. No, it, it wouldn't, wouldn't have a story at all. No, um, yeah, well done for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. It, it, it did. It just. Fo- I like. It did focus purely on what it was. Yeah, a, a Wild West film, a remake of a classic, and I think yeah, just to pull that in, the music, the classic music that everyone knows, you get it right, right, right at yeah. the end. Yeah, like, yeah, I was thinking throughout the entire film, like, where is it? It's gonna come in at some point. And then mm. at the end it comes in, which is which is nice, but overall, I mean, overall, what would you say about this film? Uh, if you enjoy westerners, uh, westerners, it's a western. West, it's a western. Yeah, westerners, western, western, westerners are like western, yeah, westerners yeah. are like people that come from the west, like us. We're yeah, westerners. I'm fine. If you enjoy, if you enjoy us, no, if you enjoy westerns, there you go. Um, yeah, I find a good film. I'm. Well, how it holds up to the original, I've no, I absolutely no you idea. Watch the original. I, I just watch, 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 watch the original. Just actually. for that music, you need to watch the music. <laughs> yeah, we just listen to that music. But um, yeah, it was. But yeah, if you don't mind the cliches, um, can't really fault it for what it did. No, uh, no, the cliches were good. The cliches were on par. They're all relevant and funny and good. Um, it was a decent film. Decent enough film. Pacing was a little off. It's it's a it's a go to the movies watch just turn your brain off for a bit and watch a good Did western. Did any of the you know the group? I mean, obviously the um, Native American. He was kind of like sort of more in the background because of that that was his character. Yeah. Did any of them really stick out more than the others though? Character wise. Yeah, because you got Denver Washington who's the main person, so he obviously gets most of the thing. But I think the rest of the group. They're near enough. They all got a good amount they, of screen time. They all got they a good amount of screen time. They all had, of, yeah. They all had like I mean, sort of when they went into the training training regiment or training the um, far, the, the farmers. farmers fight. Yeah, they all got a little bit of um, showing passing on their skills and helping out. Yeah, that, um, that I reckon was done very well with the like, banter between them and stuff yeah. Like the that. only one who kind of like didn't get quite so much was the Native American person, but Comanche. Yeah, um, but then again, that Red, was Red Harvest. Yeah, but Red then Harvest. again, that was because that's what his character was. Yeah, exactly. The, 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 really the outsider, the, 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 yeah, the Native American. And in all fairness, he went off to scout out the army, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's true. But he, he had a good, he had a good yeah. reaction with him, though. Yeah, yeah. He, he got his the legless yeah. in the group. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but he, he uh, didn't have the unlimited hours. Yeah, he actually, yeah, he actually just started and he's yeah. like, oh no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, overall, it was a good film. Yeah, it was a good film. Worth a watch. I wouldn't say it's. An epic film, but no, no. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. So uh, we'll move on to the spoiler section. We're just going to talk about a few little bits, a few things that we that I felt. And some bits I didn't really understand, and for some bits that are a bit weird. But uh, yeah, yeah. We'll uh, see you in a minute for the uh, spoiler section. Cheers for watching.